We are a small and local company operating in the metro Atlanta area. We plan to give the community a more cost-effective way of disposing of their waste oil, such as residents and fast food area chains. We plan on selling our biodiesel to large transportation vehicles like trucks, buses, and tractor trailers. Okay, so currently, the average person uses about 6.4 gallons of oil a year, which contributes to about 197 million gallons of waste that we can turn into biodiesel. If that wasn't enough, there are currently 5,083 fast food restaurants operating within Metro Atlanta, and they produce about 400 million gallons of oil in five years. This means that within five years, we can have 600 million gallons of oil that we can turn into a set of a product. So how our company works, we have two methods of picking up waste oil. One will be from houses, uh, but we'll have drop off sites. And another one will be, will be from restaurants, but we'll go and pick them up. And I'll send it over to Naye and Kari to see if you can let us know about how we're doing that. So who in here likes to collect change and take it to cash for coin machines and get cash back? <laughs> so <laughs> saving your waste oil is equivalent. You can uh, take these waste oil to these drop-off sites. We plan to have in two supermarkets in each county of Metro Atlanta. So basically, you'll take your waste oil and pour it into this machine that's similar to the cash for coin machine, and it'll filter out your remaining food that's left over. And once you calculate how much oil is there, it'll pay you 50 cents per liter. So for our restaurant pickup, we will have oil trucks going to the restaurants and picking up their waste oil. And these oil trucks will be picking up the waste oil every two weeks. Okay, so the process that we turn the waste oil into usable biodiesel is called transesterification. So transesterification is we have an ester, in this case the waste oil, the alcohol, we're using methanol, and the catalyst, and which we use potassium hydroxide. What this process did is, is these two has been called an argue. For the waste oil, it is free fatty acids, which is what we want to get out. So, of these two, they switch our groups forming usable biodiesel and glycerol. And the great part about this is that there's very little waste, and both products can be sold both as a product. So, as Robert mentioned in the last slide, there's a process called transesterification. And on the reactive side, we have uh, methanol and oil for the alcohol, as you saw. And on the product side, we have biodiesel and glycerol. So what we do is we, we get a 6 to 1 mole ratio of oil to methanol, and that made the reactive side seal down. So to in order to get equal, we pick, the product side created a, equal, a new equilibrium in which a large amount of biodiesel and oil was created to make up for Okay, so in our experiments, <coughs> our two processes were canola, were canola oil, we always use 100 grams, and one gram of potassium hydroxide, that's 1% of the total solution. Also, we changed a couple of things up. The two main things we changed up were the mole ratio and the temperature. Since this is an equilibrium reaction, we started off with the stoichiometric reaction to see how much we can get out of it. We used 10.97 grams of methanol for every 100 grams of, grams of oil, but that had a low percent yield, as you'll see later. So we switched up to a 6 to 1 on more ratio. We doubled the amount of methanol used for every 100 grams of oil, and this is what we got. For our physics film, we got a 71% end ratio, and 71% percent in yield at 40 degrees Celsius. That was too low, so we increased it to 6 to 1 on moles we have 50 degrees Celsius, and that brought it up to 108.5. It 
it's over 100% because as odds are, moisture seep eats into the reaction before it's completed, so more compounds when it's out of the solution than were intended. So today's biodiesel is sold in the U.S. for three dollars and seventy-seven cents. We plan to sell our biodiesel for three dollars and thirty-one cents. We're selling our biodiesel cheaper because we use a used waste oil. So, in conclusion. Um, when we produce our biodiesel, it's cheaper because we only have a one-step process. By your waste oil, your free fatty acid content is low. So that saves a lot of money. Um, after running the experiments, we learned that uh, potassium hydroxide is the best catalyst to use because it sped up the process in creating the biodiesel, which can also be a good thing because you're producing more biodiesel to get money back. And methanol led to a higher percent of glycerol as well. So we also created an app up here where it gives you um, the location of the drop-off site as well as it tells you about our company, our vision, our mission, and it explains a little of the science behind biodiesel if for people who don't really understand. Thank you guys for listening. Feel free to ask questions. And don't forget, there's gold in your way. Thank <laughs> you.